So whose job is it to improve diversity within film and TV? Have you ever found yourself wondering who it is you need to look to? Well, look no further because we're exploring that right now. In this video, I'm going to be looking at two different people who in two different job roles are improving diversity, as well as looking at the impact that these job roles can have. Firstly, I'll be looking into June Sarpong, who here in the UK is the Director of Creative Diversity for the BBC. Secondly, we'll be looking at Ava Devonay, who along with outgoing Warner Brothers TV executive Peter Roth, has created a database for female and minoritized race creatives and crew in Hollywood. So starting with June Sarpong. As the Director of Creative Diversity, it is Sarpong's responsibility to improve the BBC's on-air talent portrayal and commissioning, as well as develop strategies to support both on-air and production talent representation and portrayal across the BBC. In simpler terms, Sarpong is there to make sure that the BBC is not just diverse, but that there are strategies in place to support a more diverse workplace. What you will see through the introduction of a job role like this is that the BBC and other companies have someone implemented in place whose sole purpose it is to better diversity within that company. Seems obvious to say. However, their importance can't be understated. Sarpong and people who work under similar job roles can build strategies that help for the seamless integration of a more diverse workplace and veer companies away from hiring people in a box ticking exercise and instead authentically hire diverse talent. If the diversity that we see is more authentic and a better representation of the world that we live in, then the stigma surrounding diversity will drop. Sarpong and her role are in integral to this. Ava DuVernay has worked tirelessly to make sure that the sets she works on are inclusive of all people. Though time and time again when she is trying to hire more diverse talent, she's always coming up against the same brick wall. This brick wall being that her heads of departments will say they have looked everywhere, but just couldn't find anyone. In order to combat this, DuVernay has partnered with outgoing Warner Brothers TV executive Peter Roth, and together they have created a database filled to the brim with names of diverse creatives and crew within the US, with plans to expand that database into Canada and the UK. Roth, however, noticed that if this project was really to take off, it would need the backing of other major studios as well. Major studios as well. He put in some calls and now the project, Array Crew, is not only supported by, but funded by Warner Bros, Sony, Disney, and Netflix. I mean, this is monumental. Four of the major Hollywood studios not only committing to interviewing and hiring more diverse crews, but also funding that project as well. No longer can the age old excuse of we looked everywhere be used. Every major studio will have access to this database. So if inclusion is truly at the mantra, then this is a game changer for Hollywood. As instrumental as Duvernay is at assembling this incredible database, without the help of these studio executives, these gatekeepers, a Ray crew may have never got off the ground. Fundamentally, better representation is up to them. They are the decision makers on which stories get told. They are the decision makers on which directors tell those stories. So if there is going to be positive change, that is who is improving diversity. Diversity has been better established on screen and now there is a great chance to better establish it behind the camera as well. After all, Roth says in an interview with the LA Times, it is not a simple cliche, it is an absolute truth that inclusion is good business. And which gatekeeping Hollywood executive doesn't want good business? We've taken a small dive into who is improving diversity in film and TV. If you'd like to know how to improve diversity and why improving it is important, then you can click this playlist right here. I have two videos there for you to watch. If you'd like to learn more about who is improving diversity, then I have a 10 part series, Diversity Heroes, you can watch right now. Until next time, Hakuna Machata.